you will be competing in the Winter Olympics. Your events today will be speed skating and ice hockey. You are going to need some equipment for each event, which you, you will see in just a minute. Do your best and good luck. For speed skating, you will need ice skates. Things that you could use as ice skates with permission are soft cloths, paper plates, as long as it doesn't scratch your floor, socks, they can be on your feet or they could be off, folded t-shirts or shorts, or anything else around the house that is soft and slippery on a floor, and as long as you have permission to use it. For speed skating, you will also need an ice rink. That could be the hardwood floor or the tile, and things that you could use to make your ice rink with permission are bottles, cones, shoes, hats, pillows, or anything else that you can use as markers. And if you look at the picture, it shows Mr. Prang's ice rink. I just used some water bottles and Gatorade bottles and made a kind of like a long oval. Looks like a racetrack for my ice rink. Here's how it works. You will have one minute to skate around your ice rink as fast as you can to see how many times you can make it around. You must always be on your ice skates, so if it slides out from under your foot, you need to stop and put it back on. Whoever has the most laps completed in one minute wins. For ice hockey, you will also need a puck or a ball, things you could use as your puck with permission. You could use an actual puck, a tennis ball, a dog toy ball, a squishy ball, yarn ball, balled up socks. It's best to use something that's, that rolls and that's also soft. You will also need a hockey stick, things that you could use as a hockey stick with Permission. It's very important that you get permission from the adult in your house before doing this. You could use an actual hockey stick. You could use a ruler or a yardstick with the bottle taped on the end. A spatula. A golf club with permission. A broom. Or anything else you think that would work. And if you look at the picture, it says Mr. Prang's hockey stick. And I used a yardstick with a bottle taped on the end. And if you make one, you might want to angle your bottle just a little more so it looks more like a hockey stick. And then I covered the rest of the bottle with duct tape so that it was just a little bit stronger. And lastly, for ice hockey, you will need a goal. Things you could use as a goal are a box, two bottles or cones or shoes next to each other and spread out, tubs or bins, anything else that you find around your house that you think could work as a goal. Here's how it works. You have one minute to see how many goals you can make. You should be hitting into the goal from about five steps away. After you hit towards the goal, get your puck or ball back as fast as you can so you can go again. The faster you go, the more points you'll score. Whoever has the most goals after a minute wins. Things to think about when you're holding your hockey stick and things you'll notice in this picture while Mr. Prang is holding his hockey stick his feet are under his shoulders, his hands are spread apart, the hand that is farther down the stick is the hand that is away from the goal. Now it's your turn to participate in the Winter Olympic Challenges. Good luck and have fun.